beginning with the top of the head, you can see a large red comb. This is an ornamental structure and a sexual display. Then there's the ear and earlobe. The wattle is located under the beak and is also an ornamental structure. The oral cavity of a chicken has no teeth and the tongue has very few taste buds. The feathers of a chicken are composed of keratin and shield the skin from damage. The brachial vein is a large vein under the wing used for blood collection. It lies between the biceps and the triceps. This is the uropegial gland, or preen gland. It's a sebaceous gland at the base of the tail that secretes oil. Now we shift to the muscles of the wing and breast. The superficial pectoral muscle, or pectoralis major, is the largest muscle in the chicken. It moves the wing downward during flight. Triceps brachii causes the extension of the elbow joint, and biceps brachii causes flexion. The supracoracoideus is inside of the superficial pectoral muscle and lifts the wing upward during flight. This is the deltoideus muscle behind the shoulder of the chicken. Next are the muscles of the thigh and leg. These include sartorius, iliotibialis, semitendinosus, gastrocnemius, and tibialis anterior. In addition to sartorius and semitendinosus, here you can also see quadriceps femoris, ambiens, adductor longus, and semimembranosus. Their origins and insertions are shown here. Helena the hen is finally of a reproductive age and consistently lays an egg a day. In birds, only the left ovary and ovary duct continue to develop after the embryonic stage. Large yellow, small yellow, and white follicles. The large yellow have a stigma, the site of follicular rupture. After ovulation, on the way to the infundibulum, sperm is stored in the oocyte is caught through the magnum. We then go, this is where proteins are made, such as albumin. The wall is thick with all these glands that contribute to the egg. Hey! After two long hours, through the thin walled isthmus, oh what fun it is to have the egg membrane form dashing through the isthmus to the uterus. After 20 grueling hours, the heart shell is finally formed. It's an egg! Through the vagina, out the cloaca, it happens every day. An egg is laid that we can eat, scrambled or sunny side up. Hey! Chicken oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh my God! While hens have an ovary and a uterus, roosters have testes and vas deferens, which send sperm to be stored in the hen's oviduct. Here you can see the oral cavity. The beak is used to crush, hold, and tear food, and there are very few muscles in the tongue. Once food is swallowed, it goes through the esophagus, which is a muscular tube dorsal to the trachea. From the esophagus, food enters the crop, a muscular pouch where food is temporarily stored before digestion. If you look inside the crop, you can see this food. From the crop, food continues through the esophagus to the proventriculus. This is the glandular stomach of a chicken. The chemically digested food enters the gizzard. This is where all the mechanical digestion takes place. The gizzard has a thick muscular wall, as you can see here. The has four lobes. The liver processes nutrients absorbed from the small intestine, and it's a large gland that creates bile. The gallbladder stores bile and then releases it into the duodenum. The small intestine is where Helena absorbs most of her nutrients. The intestinal cecum contain bacteria important for digestion of plant cellulose and water reabsorption. The pancreas, within the duodenal loop of the small intestine, secretes digestive enzymes, and the large intestines is where the final water reabsorption occurs. Finally, the cloaca is where fecal matter is collected and then released. You can use this acronym to help you remember. Monsters eat chickens, producing gas particles, deadly like swords cutting long cucumbers. Helena's respiratory system includes lungs, air sacs, a trachea with rings to prevent it from collapsing, and a glottis. Helena's voice box is called the syrinx. A chicken's breath is split into four parts. The first inhalation moves the air through the trachea and into the posterior air sacs. The first exhalation moves air from the air sacs into the lungs. The second inhalation moves air from the lungs into the anterior air sacs, and the second exhalation moves the air from the air sacs outside of the chicken. The kidney removes wastes of metabolism and maintains the osmotic fluid balance of the body. Most avian species do not have a bladder, but they do have a kidney that tastes pretty good. Helena has a four-chambered heart surrounded by the pericardial sac. You can see the right atrium, the right ventricle, the left atrium, the left ventricle, and the aorta. Some people say the heart is the organ of love, but Helena's heart is ice cold. No one told you that was gonna be this way.